Greetings comic lovers and welcome back to Casually Comics, the channel where we chat all things comics, from reviews of comics new and old, to history to anecdotes, really wherever our whims take us. I recently heard through the grapevine about DC Roundup, which I didn't hear through official channels, so marketing fail. But apparently, we are being given, we, the plebs, the public, the chance to vote on a comic book story that's going to come out late in 2021. There's going to be rounds, there's going to be pitches. So the first pitch, the one that we are going to vote in, round one, is going to finish on April 7th, 2021. So at the time of this posting, you still have time. I wouldn't do you like that. You know, post after it's too late. And as it goes on, they're going to unveil more and more information. So next round, I believe they're unveiling the creative teams. You're going to get to see a page round after that you're gonna get to see 10 pages and then it's gonna be winner take all or potentially winner take all and then we're gonna sneak in some of the other ones that people really seem to like there is a bunch of information on it it's definitely in my opinion a more fun vote than voting to kill or save Jason <laughs> it's supposed to be fun at least but you have to vote on that was a really loud clap BAM! You have to vote on uh, social media for the most part. You can vote on Twitter, you can vote on Instagram, which I could not figure out, which is why we are on Twitter for our voting. So as you can imagine, if there's one place where they can find a way to make it not fun and angry, we're there. We're gonna keep it fun though by not reading the comments. Just all the things you imagine are happening are happening. <laughs> Just put it that way. And all the usual stuff when it comes to votes too, like it's not fair, it's rigged, all of that. I mean, I'm in a nail polish group where we vote on a theme for the nail polish that's gonna be created for the month and it's the exact same thing. Drama, drama when people have choices. But I thought it would be fun to go through it together. I'll put the link to the info for how you can vote and the stuff down there, and also just some info about what they're doing and what's going on and all of that jazz. You can also apparently do this on DC Universe because there's a link here. Yeah, it's like visit DC Universe Infinite, and then you can open it only... No, I don't want to try vertical tabs. Get out of my life. Only if you open it, womp womp, the ultimate membership. Unless you're in Canada like me, and then too bad for you unless you get a VPN. Sponsor me, Nord. <laughs> All right, so round one. All right, I'm gonna read you the whole pitch. Oh, and can I just keep scrolling after like that? Oh, I don't mind if I do. Green Lanterns, Underworld on Fire. Kyle Rayner and Kilowog are on the case of space outlaws raising the intergalactic underworld sector by sector. But will Kyle go by the book when he finds out who's behind it all? No, forget the book. He's going to throw the book right at them. <laughs> or Etta Candy, Holiday Hero. I've got to read it around my mic. <laughs> Holiday Hero, Inc. When an accident grants Etta Candy superpowers, she joins forces with Wonder Woman and her sorority sisters to protect anyone in need. Well, uh, I have to say, I mean... Kyle and Kilowog, man, gotta go Green Lantern. Uh, you know I love Green Lantern, so that's gonna be one vote for Green Lanterns. Oh, which at the time of this recording is winning 73.8% to 26.2. If you go vote, see or say what it is at that time, because I'm not gonna go back. This is a one and done. <laughs> I picked what I picked. You know, there are people who are creating multiple like sock puppet accounts. I'm like, I need to go, keep voting. Next up, next contestant. I, uh, I can't read their little blurbs, but it's so cringe on top here. You're not bugging out. It's ambush bug action versus Zatanna. The brave and the bug. I do enjoy that pun. Crisis on infinite ambush. Eh, eh, not as good. Ambush Bug must survive an attack by other Ambush Bugs from across the multiverse who never got to exist thanks to his refusal to be rebooted. That sounds meta. Meta as heck. Zatanna and the King of Nightmares. Something is wrong with Zatanna's powers, but before she can heal, she has to confront her worst fears as well as a terrifying new foe, the King of Nightmares. Okay, now Zatanna has fought Nightmares before. I've seen it. It happened in her Solar series back in 2010. But... Definitely prefer the idea of that to the infinite ambush meta-ness. I'm sorry, ambush bug. Not today. Zatanna. Oh, wow. Okay. Zatanna crushing it. The Brave and the Bug 21.3 and Zatanna 78.7. Next group. Oh, I see Creeper. I read that as Crackalackin'. I'm so glad that's not what it said. <laughs> this is Crackalackin'. Loading. Why, is everybody trying to vote for this one? Is this the one that everybody is like, we need to get in stat on the ground floor? Lobo slash Animal Man, Scorched Earth. The main man's latest contract leads him to do the unthinkable. For the next six months, Lobo protects the edgy adult world out of the earth. 
at all costs or son of the creeper. An awkward teen's life turns upside down when he inherits his dad's chaotic powers. Now Kieran Miller must save a father he doesn't know from the monster he's become. Can I vote for neither? <laughs> neither? <laughs> Is that a choice? Uh, not the hugest Lobo person, but a big animal man person. And you've got like, oh no, my dad's the creeper. Uh, mm, I'm sorry, creeper. Animal man is gonna give the edge up to this top one for me. I wanna see that one, okay. I feel like I'm not an edgy rebel anymore. Everything I'm picking is winning. <laughs> Alrighty. We'll see. There are still till the 7th, though. Come on. Things could change. Go, go vote and see how it turns out. Alright. Next up. JLQ. Eight young queer heroes investigate a series of monstrous manifestations around the world and discover that something much more terrifying is coming. Robins. A small group meets at Dick Grayson's apartment. But what's brought them here? Isn't that they're all former sidekicks to Batman? They're being hunted by one claiming to be the first. Well, I mean, the first is Dick Grayson or it's Batman. Are they being hunted down by an angry Batman? <laughs> I've made a horrible mistake. Or a Dick Grayson? I'm sick of it. All y'all pretenders. That sounds like several fics I've kind of read, or at least the kernels of them, were a very fun concept. Uh, I just kind of realized I kicked it. Now it's shaking. It's like, whoa, earthquake. Dick Grayson's causing an earthquake. Uh, the top one, there was actually a leak where it revealed a couple of who is going to be on, or at least people think they found who some of the heroes are going to be. One is Aqualad, Calder, or Jackson Hyde, and Dreamer. The other one was Dreamer. I have to say, though, this top one isn't, it isn't giving me enough. This is the monstrous manifestation, something more terrifying. It's still a little bit too vague when I know I got Dick Grayson's apartment and all the robins inside there being hunted one by one. I have to say, I would like to see it. Let's... Robins. Alright, that one's a bit closer. Pause off the Justice League. When the Justice League disappears, Jimmy Olsen and the Super Pets must save the world from certain doom. Now there's a deep cut. Jesse Quick control. As Jesse Quick's super speed fades, she gains a new ability. But when the power begins to corrupt Jesse, she must give it up or risk becoming quite literally her own worst enemy. Oh, so like that one tangent comic flash I read where it split her into two versions? Ah, you know, the silver, all the Silver Age stuff that we do here. Uh, I know they just did a Jimmy series recently, but I gotta give it to Jimmy and the Super Pets. Hoo hoo hoo, minority. Minority? Minority. <laughs> There's still time. I just think this is a cool concept. I don't know, I'm not overly deeply invested in what wins but that may be me some people are getting really like head up about it. i think if enough of this does super well they'll find a way to work some of it in in my opinion at least it'd be kind of silly not to I mean, pitch is well enough it doesn't have to come out this year you can always make it come out later blue beetle graduation day when the reach interrupts jaime's graduation the fallout puts his future as blue beetle in jeopardy and poses the ultimate question what does life after high school look like it looks like this, sitting in your attic, answering questions about DC Comics, voting in these things, looking at Jaime, look in despair. Night Runner, love in Paris. When the fans of an intoxicating ritual songstress start disappearing throughout Paris, Night Runner must track down the infamous developer behind the celebrity AI. Night Runner. Hold on, I'm having a moment. Night Runner. Kyle Higgins, oh. I am not very familiar with Night Runner, actually. Is this from the, is this from like the, this is from Batman Inc, isn't it? This is the Batman Inc stuff. Batman of France? Yep, Batman Incorporated. I could be doing a French accent right now. Blue Beetle it is. I got a Jaime. I loved Jaime's runs and just more Jaime would be great. Wow, and the people agree. Swamp Thing, A House of Secrets, Louisiana, 1905. Ooh, it's already winning me over. The monstrous Alex Olsen, his widow Linda, and his undead rival Damien vie for control of the cursed swamp where life and death spiral into one nightmare. 
or Suicide Squad 7. In South America, Harley Quinn leads an adventurer, a stage magician, a sugar-obsessed killer, a former hero, a drunk assassin, a mute metahuman, and a child who becomes a monster. That's just... That's just literally the group of people that she's leading. It's just like, hey, she's got a squad, and they're in South... That tells you... That tells you nothing. I feel like that's just gonna win because Suicide Squad's on everybody's brains, but I think I'm gonna go against the grain. At least I assume I'm going against the grain and pick Swamp Thing. That sounds kind of gothic and eerie, and I'm here for that. Swamp Thing. That is way more even than I would have expected it to be. That's that's surprising to me. Swamp Thing. Cha cha cha. It had a very, I don't know, almost Anne Rice vampire thing going on with that description. Louis de Point de Lac. Oh, and one more. Asteria, the last Amazon, an immortal champion, returns to man's world to discover the Amazon's sacrifice now forgotten and the secret family she left behind offering one last chance at redemption. Eh. Or Superman and Lo <laughs> Click. <laughs> Superman and Lois Ignition. Our solar system is a machine, and its purpose is to trap and kill Superman. Together, he and Lois face ancient aliens and trickster asteroids as they fight to save our future. Ancient aliens? Aliens. Oh, come on. Just, ooh. Oh, <laughs> I don't care. I'm happy with my choice, even if it doesn't win. I don't care. I love everything Superman and Lois, even the hot disaster that was the relationship in the Silver Age. So, yes, those are my choices. Go and vote for yours. Let me know in the comments below what you think would be interesting out of all these pitches. Did you know that this was even happening? Tell me that too. And we're gonna come back. We're gonna come back for round two and I think all the rounds, except I think the last one, which takes place on DC's forum. Which, as long as they open that up and it's not on the exclusive subscription part, I can do that too because I love voting for things. I don't even care. I'm one of those people who watch sports no matter what team is playing. I just, I just like being a part of things. <laughs> this is, this is cool. I think this is fun. I think it has the potential to be fun. I mean, you can pick holes at any part of it. And it is, yeah, of course it's cynical and they're just testing pitches against us. But I, I don't know. I think there's also a, a fun, inclusive, interactive element to it. And it's nice to see somebody try something new, you know, or retry something that they had tried before in the modern digital era. So yes, share your thoughts, tell me what you did vote for, what you would have voted for, what you think I was a madman for voting for, and just, I guess, also comment on my Too Faced hair. And I will see you all soon in an upcoming video. That's right, quick, short, sweet. Leave comments down below, all the things. I'll see you soon.